Well guys, we're doing something a little different tomorrow. We're going after pheasants. Tomorrow is opening day for pheasant season. I'm out here right now, just got the dogs fed for the evening and tomorrow morning we're gonna turn a couple of them loose and go after pheasants. The only thing is we've got a little rain in the forecast. It's uh, gonna rain all night tonight and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So we'll see just how heavy it gets, if it's uh, anything too crazy that keeps us out of the field. Um, but I'm just kind of crossing our fingers. It's light and spotty rain that's moving through the area and if that's the case, we can manage in that. But just downpouring rain, it just ain't that fun to hunt in. So run a couple dogs tomorrow and see what happens. Before we get into the hunt, I want to let you guys know that at the end of this video, we're going to be giving away a $100, $50, and $25 gift card to our Uplander Apparel shop. So be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video to get your name in the running for one of the three gift cards. Yeah. Well, buddy, it's your time to shine. You're always pretty good on pheasants. See what we can find. You ready? Yeti. Dang it. I knew there was a rooster up here too because I heard one cackling back here earlier. You guys ready? Yeti. And Amber. Right there. Hen, good job. Amber. Amber. Come on. Amber's on point. Right here. She's behind this grass.
Dead bird. Dead bird. Good job, girl. Dead bird. Pen. Easy. Dead bird, find. Ember, dead bird, find. Come on. That a girl. Good job. Right here. Right here. Thank you. Give. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Ember. Good job. End of the day. It's raining and we got our bird. We got it. That made me nervous. The dog did not get a bead on where that bird went down. And in this thick grass, these birds can bury themselves into stuff. Good job, Ember. <laughs> dog had a really beautiful point back there and she stood it forever as I was trying to flush birds and this rooster finally came out and I missed on the first shot and I caught up to him on the second so hey man I'll take it it's it's gonna start raining pretty good here for a second so I'm gonna wrap this up and get back to the truck fox Fox is working something here. Now she's on point. She's 60 yards up ahead of me. I gotta get up there. He got up just a touch far. The dog had been working something here and she was on point. So I started running down this line, trying to catch up to her and she stood on point. I got up here and that bird took off. Let's go chase it. Had a girl fox, nice work kid. So I had a pretty good beat on where that bird landed in this corner. And we're just working our way up there trying to get the dog into a position to be downwind of the bird. Right here, dog's on point. Dead bird! Good job, Fox! Good girl! Good job! Dead bird! Dead bird, Fox! Fox here! Good job, girl! Fox here! Dead bird! Come on, girl! Dead bird! Dead bird, fox. And there's a dead deer laying here too. That's nice. Dead bird. Fox, fetch here, come on. Fetch here. Fetch here, fox. Fox, fetch here. Good girl. Right here, fetch here. Fetch here. Hey, here. Hey, come on. Come here. Fox. Right here. Fetch here. Good girl. Hey, good job. Good job, girl. Good job. Good job. Give. <laughs> nice work, Fox. Oh, this is a mature bird, too. This is last year's bird. Beautiful big rooster. Look at the tail on that thing. Nice work, Fox. That was a really fun walk with Fox this morning. I'm really happy she was able to get in on a bird like that. I was able to get a shot and just seeing her, um, her turn the corner here uh, on that hunt that I had her out this morning and starting to point some birds and 
working nicely for me and she's ranging, she's hunting hard, she's working and tracking scent. Fox is still an extremely young dog, super green. Uh, she's a year old and three months. Um, so all she's had is her experience this year of hunting and it's really good to see the light bulb turning on and things clicking with how she needs to perform. I'm pretty happy with how today went and yesterday went as well, knocking down that bird with ember at last light. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day and that's gonna be it. I ran a few more dogs here today and we just haven't turned up a whole lot more. It seems like all the birds have kind of crawled under a rock a little bit. It's just yesterday being opening day, pretty much everything got hit. All the birds got pushed around and I'll be back up here at some point to try and chase pheasants again. I'm not sure exactly when, but until then I'll be chasing something. Well, it's never a bad day to be out in the woods. But when you have weather like we have today, early, mid-November, you just can't beat it. It's an absolutely gorgeous day outside, clear blue skies, plenty of sunshine, pretty good cool breeze rolling through the air. Today we're out here looking for pheasants. We're at a spot where I feel like it's got a pretty good mix of everything we're looking for. Um, some different edges and different habitats that's in this section, uh, some crops, hedgerows, some reeds and different low areas. So. Hopefully we have a good walk. I'm out here with my wife today. She's joining us and we're gonna load up one of the dogs and go give it a shot and see what we find today. So it should be a pretty enjoyable walk. We've got really, really nice weather and hopefully a few birds flushing along the way. Amber. Amber's on point up here in front of me, 45 yards away. The bird. Good girl, here. Here. Nice job. Yeah. Good work, Ember. Wow, nice. Whew. Look at that. Big, mature, beautiful rooster. Ember pointed this bird real nicely. I walked up and it got up between me and her while she was on point. Really, really nice. Big public land wild rooster. Beautiful bird too. Absolutely gorgeous. That was a really fun walk that I had with my wife and Ember. And we ended up pulling that one rooster out of there. We hunted a few more times the rest of that day and didn't have a whole lot more action. I think we saw a few birds that flushed out in front of us. But I'm back out here today and this is for all the marbles now. This is going to be my last day of hunting for the first half of the season. Our rifle season for deer comes in here in two days from now. It's Monday the 13th and I'm going to give it my one last good go today for pheasant hunting. Uh, all up when seasons closed down pheasant and grouse for the opener of rifle season so it's been a really good first half of the season and gonna collar up a few dogs today and see if we can't scratch one last bird or two out got pretty good conditions for a mid-november day really nice weather beautiful bluebird skies and yeah we'll see what we run into today so i'm gonna grab yeti i'm going into a spot this morning that i've hunted before but it's been a couple years since i've been back there but i'm familiar with it i know what the cover and terrain looks like i know there's birds in the area back there and we'll see what yeti finds this morning all right we'll scratch that first run with Yeti. I know, I know. You ready to go? We only moved four hens. We didn't see any roosters on our walk, so I'm gonna try it here with Aspen. Aspen. Beautiful day, just a little windy.
Get burned. Aspen got birdie in this corner. And she trailed in here and this rooster got up. It was running out in front of us. And I hit it good, knocked it down. But I know that bird's got some life in it. I hear it flapping here. Dead bird. Dead bird, find. Dead bird, find. Dead bird. Aspen, fat chair. You got it? You got it, girl? Fat chair. Aspen. Good job, girl. Come here. Aspen, here. Here. That's a girl. Fat chair. Good girl. Give. Good girl. Give. Give. Good work. Nice job, Aspen. Good job, girl. Look at that. Beautiful wild rooster. Good job, girl. Look at the colors on that. Just gorgeous. Look at the colors on that bird. It never gets old. Well, that's gonna wrap up the first half of our season. And I don't know if I could have thought of a better way to end it. So right now I'm just hanging out here with the dogs. It's mid-November going on Thanksgiving and we're gonna get back to hunting here in a few days. But just wanted to say thanks to everybody for following along all the way from our out west trips to back home in the north woods, chasing rough grouse and even mixing a couple of days of pheasant hunting into the mix. So thank you guys for following along. I always really do enjoy sharing these videos and these hunts and you know just those special moments that you have in the field sometimes. And it's just great to share it with like-minded people and know that like-minded people are following along. And as as a way to say thanks to everybody, we wanted to do a little giveaway from our Uplander apparel shop. So what we're going to do is we're going to give away to three lucky winners drawn at random, a $100 gift card, a $50 gift card, and a $25 gift card to our shop, uplanderlifestyle.com. And to enter this, all you have to do is drop a comment below on this video and hit the thumbs up like button. Doesn't matter what the comment is, just drop something below, say hi, or just give us a shout out, whatever. But just drop a comment down below and hit the like button on this video and you'll automatically be entered for the drawing to win one of the three gift cards. And we're gonna be picking the three winners for the gift cards on December 4th. And we're gonna contact them on the comment section of the video and we'll go ahead from there and get you guys' information. So just as a way to say thanks for following along, go ahead, drop a comment, get in the running for Uplander Lifestyle Apparel for a gift card to our shop. Uh, if you guys do wanna support us and our brand overall, we have our biggest sale of the year going on right now, our Black Friday sale. You can save up to 60% on certain items items throughout the whole entire store and that sale is going through December 4th so if you know somebody in your life who loves chasing birds and following dogs around we have a lot of great options as gifts for the upcoming holiday season for uplanders or if you're just looking for some new gear and apparel to wear yourself absolutely so like I said we really do appreciate the support and just want to say thanks for following along and, and thanks for helping keeping us going on this journey that we're, we're doing so Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up. It's uh, going on Thanksgiving, so hopefully everybody has a happy Thanksgiving over the next couple days. And I'm gonna be back out December 1st. That's when our season opens again. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be chasing, whether it's pheasants or grouse, but I'll probably be back out there somewhere. So more videos to come here in December. So thanks again for following along, guys. And uh, I'm gonna wrap this up and we'll see you back out there somewhere.